It's been another big development update from the Microsoft and Asobo teams and this month's development live stream including confirming a couple of the base aircraft we will see in the 2024 sim as well as some new information on when we'll see this new sim release. We've got that covered with all of the highlights from this development live stream so let's jump straight into the video. Kicking off this development live stream, the team updated us on the Antonov 225, which has sold over 98,000 units since its release. All the funds from the sales of the first 12 months of the AN225 will be donated to the Antonov company in the aid to either rebuild or commemorate the Antonov 225 in some way, which is a great news from the team. This also shows some insights into how much or possibly how many dollars could be flowing through the Microsoft InSim market play store with sales from their own aircraft as well as fees they're charging from sales for third party products. Really interesting to see. Jorg, the CEO of Flight Sim, next shared some results of the June 2 DLC launch after the first three weeks since the DLC was released. It had become the third most downloaded product behind the Top Gun 2 and the Pelican from the Halo ship. It would be safe to say we may receive more of this type of DLC in the future from seeing how popular across the platform it has been. Since the sim was released, Jorg also mentioned that in December, January and February just gone, they've had the biggest months when it comes to engagement in the sim, which shows after three and a bit years, the sim and the hobby is still growing very, very strong and more people are using the sim more consistently with new simmers coming aboard. It's great to get certain statistics from the team about how the sim is going. Now, moving on to some of the sim update news regarding turbulence, masking and bridges. In the development live stream there were some questions in the first Q&A about the water masking, turbulence and bridges. Seb, which is one of the CEOs of Asobo and also one of the co-founders, mentioned that there have been some research around in the sim about the depicting of the clouds and turbulence from a trusted source of data that the team is using. The team is now looking at adjusting to improve this so the turbulence in the sim will be more detailed. The water masking that needed to be improved with the last world update or which was missing has now been fixed and it was actually updated in the sim just before the live stream went alive. Also, when answering the question about improving bridges in the sim, Jorg mentioned that the team has dedicated a whole team around this and this has been tackled currently city by city and we'll see this with city updates, old city updates and also um, the city update releases. Moving on to the next sim update, which is sim update 15, which is still scheduled to release on the 26th of March. This was pushback of the original release date that was scheduled for mid-Feb. Jorg also mentioned that the release may get pushed back a few days more, as this is a big update and they want to make sure it is working to their expectation. That being said, we will feature the sim update and some of the other details that were mentioned in an upcoming weekly news video that we'll release later on this week. The team did mention that some features and some performance updates that we haven't seen before when it comes to the sim which is stability, WASM memory and LOD changes for Xbox when it comes to sim update 15. The updates when it comes to the density and the variety of traffic with Sim Update 15, which had a big impact on Xbox. This is why the team needed some extra time to ensure the updates were a lot more stable. Seb mentions that Sim Update 15 has been an aggressive update and the team have been trying all sorts of different things and the team that looked for feedback from the testing to redefine and in to redefine the improvements provided to a good compromise between quality and performance improvement which has been mostly due to Xbox users when it comes to the LOD. Seb explains in great detail that they've had to make compromises when it comes to texture quality and performance from the console. And I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the full video. As if you are a console simmer, I would highly recommend checking this out because they did actually explain the level of detail and what they are doing to really make the simmer work as best they can when it comes to Xbox. 
Another performance update that was mentioned for Sim Update 15 that we haven't heard before is the Wasm memory improvements for Sim Update 15. We'll see an all new improved memory system when it comes to the Wasm, which will free up about 40 to 50 megabytes of memory. This is not a substantial improvement by all means, but it's clearly easy to see that the team is looking for every aspect to optimize the current Sim's performance to really get it working on console and things like this will obviously help improve uh, the Sim's performance when it comes to PC. If you are enjoying this video, bosh that like button and consider subscribing for more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024 development update videos here on the channel. We are in a race to hit 100,000 subscribers before the 2024 Sim is released. We appreciate all your support to help make this happen. Thank you very much. The team also talked about the up and coming Airbus A320 Neo version 2, which has been developed by Inibills. The A320 at this stage is still scheduled for release with Sim Update 15. Cameron, one of the developers from Inibills, gave us a walkthrough of the A320 Neo, including the Neo engines and the level of detail we should expect to see on the aircraft and the external details as well. Cameron also mentioned that they are using decals to ensure that there is no quality losses when it comes to the aircraft and the performance is pretty good. When it comes to inside the cockpit of the Neo, everything should work the way you would expect. And the team is including extra detail from the Neo version, such as an engine crank to cool itself down after certain periods of time. If the aircraft has been run uh, within six hours before, movable window, accurate ground handling, which is the new upgraded version of ground handling that was talked about in previous uh, sim updates on board EFB and accurate model to fly by wire system. As we mentioned at the top of this section, when it comes to the A320 Neo version 2, this should be available in sim update 15 and it will be an additional to the original Sobo release. Y2 aircraft, Jorg mentioned that he asked any builds to improve the current A320 in the sim as they did with the working title team when they improved the two Boeing aircraft, the 7. 47 and the 787 any builds just went and built a whole new a320 so the microsoft team decided to place a both aircraft side by side the microsoft team is very interested to see how this plays out to see how the community reacts having two different airbuses in the sim and seeing the statistics Moving through the development live stream, they did also discuss aircraft and general improvements. The team were asked in the development live stream on one of the options of implementing ray tracing effects to the sim. The team's response from this, we are currently looking at ways to improve the current system, which is ray marching, as ray tracing would be a big change to the current simulator, and we most likely wouldn't see it in this current sim. So it might be something that they may introduce in 2024. Other aircraft improvements, which was mentioned was a better prop simulation which they have discussed in previous sim updates before will be coming to a sim update in the future the team is taking their time with this one as they don't want to just add features into the sim they really want to improve the experience with the updates and make sure the experience is better for us the simmer in in the future a suggestion that then come from the community about improvements to the sim, about adding a dynamic LOD to create a more fluid sim when it comes to PC. The team did mention that this is currently implemented in the Xbox version and works quite well. However, they did not think about a PC version and Seb mentioned that this is a great idea and they will add this to the backlog list for investigation. And it looks pretty promising that we actually may see this introduced into the PC version of the sim at some time in a future release. Those were just a few things that were mentioned that we haven't heard about when it comes to Sim Update 15 just yet. And moving away from Sim Up 15, we've got some new announcements for the team. And the first one is City Update number six. City Update number six has now been announced as Southwest Germany. This update will include many cities in Germany, including Stuttgart, Strasbourg, and the Heidelberg. Hopefully I said some of those correctly. They're just a few to name in the update, but there will be a total of six cities that will be included as well as the friend and Kevin I think I butchered that one airport which has been developed by any builds and it will come with the city update and number six as well and of course with every city update or world update we do see a local legend and we're going to be up to local legend at number 15 which is the Dornier DO31 this next local legend has been confirmed 
and again this one has been developed by Anybuilds. The aircraft is a very unique aircraft and it is an experimental jet propelled vertical takeoff and landing cargo aircraft that was designed for military use and only two of these aircraft were airworthy and only one of those could actually um, do the vertical takeoff and landing. So we should see this release alongside city update number six. Moving on to some news about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Sometimes it's all about reading between the lines when it comes to the development live streams but Jorg the CEO announced that Flight FX is developing two base aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The first one is the Jensen Arrow which is an experimental and the second one is the Series Vision Jet. We've seen both of these in the first release trailer but now they've been confirmed who's actually developing those. The Flight FX team have already released their version of the Vision Jet in the 2020 sim. However, this will be an updated version of their current payware aircraft. Jorg did mention he would like feedback from the community as this would be a base aircraft and should they pull the current version of the Vision Jet from the in-sim marketplace? And his rationale behind this is he didn't want someone to go and purchase the current version of the Vision Jet, say in September, and the 2024 sim gets released after that. Yeah. Now, speaking of September dates, Jorga did mention that we will see a new sim trailer for this year's Xbox show, which is around about in June each and every year. And when discussing that the Vision Jet, as we mentioned before, being pulled from the Marketplace store, again, his rationale behind this is he didn't want someone to purchase it from the in-sim Marketplace store in September. And then at the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim, it was released sometime after that. And someone's just paid for a payware when it's actually an upgrade version is available as a base aircraft in the new sim. From the sounds of it, we are expecting this sim to be released very, very late in the year towards the start of the holiday period and definitely going to be sometime after September by the sounds of it. Jorg did mention the quality of these base aircraft in the 2024 sim it will be definitely payware level quality, which is a big step up from the current aircraft we saw with the release of the 2020 sim that currently wasn't a payware quality and the feedback from the community over the last few years is really showing that this is what the community expects when it comes to a new sim release from the team. Moving on from that, and if that wasn't the biggest news we've heard about the 2024 sim for a while now, the Microsoft team have confirmed they will be attending this year's FS Expo. The team plans obviously to discuss some news about the upcoming Flight Sim 2024 and other things that they are working on, which is great news to hear. This has been one of the more interesting development live streams we've seen for some time now and it's going to be a big year in 2024 with a new sim so I believe the information is going to start ramping up soon that we'll hear about what they're doing with 2020 and also the current 2024 development. Bosh that like button if you enjoyed this in-depth look at the development live stream and the latest sim development update. Consider subscribing to help us with the race to reach 100,000 subscribers before the release of the 2024 sim. And we look forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon. Thank you very much for the support.